this might be a problem for us tomorrow. All right, good morning everyone. Welcome to day number one of the tournament. We actually had some pretty inclement weather yesterday. Um, we, we have somewhat of a pattern going on with the drop shot or we had a pattern going on with the drop shot. That very well may change. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the rest of the morning. I will see you guys on the water. All right, ladies and gentlemen, six o'clock, let's do this. First one. Go on the grass. No! No! Thirteen three quarter guys. Let's go. A little striped bass. Fourteen and a half. Let's go, baby. All right, guys. 16 and a half. Let's go. That thing broke me straight off. Dang it. He came off. Oh my God, that was a big one too. Fourteen inch fish guys, number four. No! No! Nope. We're good. I'm gonna make up for it. It's alright. Come here! Yes! Yes! Let's go, baby! Let's freaking go! 15, guys. 15. Let's go. PMA guys, positive mental attitude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Three o'clock, lines out. So we finished up with seven, 73.75. So it's a pretty decent bag, especially for out here. The, the fishing has been a little bit tough for everybody. So five fish to limit definitely went a long way and hopefully we are able to replicate that tomorrow. I'll see you guys on the water for day two of the ABA TOC of 2024. All right, ladies and gentlemen, six o'clock, lines in. Start of day number two of the TLC. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. Number one, top water. Let's see. Should measure out. Thirteen guys. First one. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Come on, baby. Give me, give me a second chance. Oh, why are you missing? Why are you missing? Oh, how did he miss that? How oh, did he miss that? God, guys, that was a giant. See if anybody's sitting on our spot from yesterday.
little micro little micro okay. got a little tiny micro okay let's go ahead and find another spot looks like uh, our usual spot is occupied right now Okay, so it looks like it's shallow over here on this cove. So we're actually gonna go around this point right here, go all the way around to about right here. That seems to be where the deeper, uh, the deeper water is. So we'll go ahead and go that way. We'll see what happens. If we could find a place that had that I could get two fish off of, we could sit there and, and pick it apart. But we need to find a spot where we could catch two fish, and I think that will be a that'll be a good good place where we're at. <clears throat> All right, guys, we are struggling here. We are struggling. We haven't gotten bit ever since that one topwater. I haven't even got bit here, not even like a little nibble or anything, so I don't even know if anybody's home. Not even a little nibble. Let's see, let's see. No need to panic now. Still got plenty of time. I just got bit by a smallie right here. There's another one with him too. Smally. <laughs> little smallmouth bass. Our second smallmouth of the trip. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. Beautiful fish. I don't think he's going to measure out. Nope. Ten and a half. Ten and a half, guys. Okay, so that was cranking. We're getting some fish cranking. It's pretty cool.
Good Smalley. Good Smalley, good Smalley. Yes, let's go. Good Smalley, guys. Good Smalley. Let's freaking go. Let's go, guys. Another Smalley. God, these guys are fun, but man, they are dangerous. They are dangerous. It's another smallmouth. Wow. God, these guys are awesome. Fifteen and a quarter, guys. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if there's any more stacked up right there. These fish should technically be schooling up right now. So hopefully there's actually more. You getting on them or what? Just one? Just two. There you go. Hey, at least we're getting bit, man. Yeah. Okay, back to our OG spot. Probably spend a couple hours here and then go back over to the other spot where, <clears throat> where we got bit on practice day. It's 10.31 right now. We'll stay here for an hour and a half. And then, uh, well, depending on whether or not we get bit. Let's go, baby, let's go. Let's go, baby. I barely had him hooked. I basically freaking, I jacked him up a little too, a little too much and I made a hole in his mouth. So lucky that I got him in the boat. Fourteen guys, fourteen. Okay, so that was a fourteen, unfortunately. Close to fourteen and a quarter, but we need to get two more. Yes sir, baby. Yes sir. This is a good one. Good fish, good fish. Fifteen guys, fifteen. Uh, 
about us being difficult, so I'm actually just gonna throw out the weightless wacky. See if we get bit, but basically this freaking thing is being a butthole right now. What the heck, dude? This thing got all messed up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need one more. We need one more. We've got one and a half hours left, hour and a half. Jeez, that was a big carp. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but that was a massive carp. I think it must have been at least like 30 pounds. It's crazy how they could jump like that too. Seeing how big they are. All right, guys, we're gonna make that move. Hopefully it doesn't take us any more than 15 minutes, but we're gonna make a move over to that um, area that we caught those two fish at during practice. Hopefully it's the right decision. We'll see. All right, y'all. Here we go. 12.53. We don't have that much longer and we need to catch one more. Let's catch our one more over here. That's a good fish. This is a good fish. No! <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, all right, guys. Do. It's all right, guys, it's all right. Like we say, right? Positive mental attitude. Positive mental attitude. We're gonna make that up. Just gotta keep on casting and tell yourself that you're gonna have another opportunity. And when that opportunity comes, it's gonna be even better. I think one thing I noticed is that I can't play with these guys unless he's a big one. I can't I can't play these guys. I have to get them in. I have to try to get them in as fast as possible because once they once they surge, that uh that landing percentage definitely decreases as they uh, as they surge more and more. So I definitely want to try to get them in the boat as fast as possible without obviously horsing them in.
15 minutes guys 15 minutes left and I've been told that one of my fish got modified because the mouth was open that was the uh, that was a small mouth so that just knocked off an inch so I'm trying to see what what the dispute process is because all the pictures that I took of that small mouth that the mouth is closed it's just the way that the mouth was all right guys that's it two o'clock oh man we missed that fish hopefully it wasn't a $500 fish oh guys man what a grinder all right guys that's gonna be it for the aba toc for 2024 unfortunately didn't get our limit we got our fifth fish kind of popped off right here at the boat hopefully it wasn't a 500 dollars fish but we'll go ahead and make our way back over to the ramp and we'll see uh we'll see where the results go but um yeah guys so did a little bit of disputing um it looks like the small mouth um the mouth of the small mouth was open so i don't know how that's gonna turn out but either way guys super fun day really glad that we were able to come out here and uh get the opportunity to fish on a body of water that i would honestly never uh never fish in my life um if i wasn't given the opportunity to just like just like this weekend but all right guys we're gonna go ahead back over to the ramp and uh we'll see where we are in uh toc that's it guys aba toc 2024 let's go baby so tournament director has uh has said that that fish is uh has an open mouth so that small mouth got deducted down to a 1425 instead of a 1525 so hopefully with uh with everything that's going against us with uh with the deduction as well as losing that fish at the boat hopefully uh we don't get too far behind here still looking at that still hoping for that second place of TLC but um yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see that uh that fish that we lost at the boat very well might have been a $500 fish All right, so uh, what we're going to do right now, we're going to do the Iron Man first for third place. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but Jerry. Yes, Jerry. 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 With 73 and three quarters. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> All right, for second place, Jay Starcella with 82 and a half inches. Ooh. Big fish face. And her first place, John D. Monet. Wow. Eight yeah, seven yeah, that's, a, that's surprising. <laughs> so, so that's like, oh, you gotta do it? Yeah. Alright, so we'll get on to the TOC. For third place, Garcilla. Again. Yeah, Sorry. Hey, let's go. With 124 and a half inches. 124, nice. Alrighty, for second place. With 130 inches and a quarter. That's very bad. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, second place. Everything, any techniques? How'd you like have a suit? Alrighty, and for first place with 178 inches and a half, John D. Monet. Monet, let's go. Right, that's the SKF 117, so nice, nice one. Nice. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so a few weeks down the road, a um, little bit of changes I actually came across the final standings of the tournament for both um, Iron Man and TOC. There was some debates on some of the fish that I actually submitted. So this fish in particular was that 14 inch fish from our day number one, also the last stop of the Iron Man series. So this 14 inch fish specifically got disqualified because part of my hand was actually past the red zone of where, um, you know, I can't have my hand obviously so it hurts a little bit yeah it definitely hurts a little bit but at the end of the day rules are rules huge shout out to to shane and craig and everybody in the aba for for hosting these events and uh, ultimately making these these tough decisions you know it, it's tough on the angler to receive that kind of news but it's also tough for the directors to giving off that news to the anglers because at the end of the day we don't want to disqualify any kind of fish we don't want to disqualify any anglers or anything like that but at the end of the day these organizations they have a reputation to uphold they have you know they have to keep their integrity so that there is a pl even playing field for all of the anglers that are participating yeah guys because of that 14 inch deduction we went from third place of the iron man series down to fourth and then for toc we went from second place down to third so obviously a, a key fish but i think what was even worse was losing that fifth fish on day two or the uh day two of the toc though that fish that we lost right at the boat. Definitely, definitely a key fish. That was obviously our $500 fish that we lost. Not only that $500 prize, but also the bonafide SKF that we would have won if we would have got that fish in the boat. So, um, Big shout out to the ABA for hosting a phenomenal, phenomenal fishing season. Hopefully we, we get some uh, news about next season and hopefully we can continue on with, with the tournament series here. With this being my, my first year tournament fishing, I definitely want to um, continue growing, continue experiencing new things and hopefully um, obviously get better as an angler but all right guys i appreciate each and every one of you for supporting me for joining me on the water giving me the motivation to actually go out on the water practice and um you know make this kind of content for for your viewing pleasure but yeah guys as always thank you guys for liking subscribing joining me for my adventures on the water i'll see you guys in the next one